Are you looking for a perfect, beautiful, awesome van that's the most versatile, most awesome thing in the world? Well, look somewhere else. This is not a perfect van. It's very versatile. And to do anything you need to do. You like to breed. You need three rows. Or if you're just looking for wheels that's got low miles. Well, you came to the right place. It's a 2004 Windstar. It was a one owner car. And it was told out on the last little bump and bruise the person had. Now, it's straight overall besides the doors there. It looks like they just kind of drug it along something, especially on this side. Airbags did not blow. Um, and basically, you don't have a very expensive car here. So, when you have something like this that's kind of damaged, well, the insurance company just kind of totals it out and sends it to auction, which is where I got it. Nathan, 406 546 8748. We did a little bit of work on it EGR valve, um, shifter linkage, got a hubcap for it, something else. I can't remember what. But it's in good shape. I'm going to show you the van, I'm going to show you all the damage up close. But I'm telling you, it's a nice van, runs good, one owner, and they seem to have taken care of it, besides doing all this stuff. Uh, the seats on this car are so easy to do, a three-year-old can do them. Vlad? Vlad. Can you pick the seat up? Yeah. Pick the seat up. Get it. Get up under it, boy. There you go. Come on. You got it. Push. Push hard. You got to get it. I ain't going to help you. You're going to get it yourself, boy. Good job. Push it. Push it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, ah. Boom. Hammer five. He's figuring this thing out. Um, paint's in good shape. Of course, it's faded and chipped off on that front bumper. There's a split there and a split there. I could do that and redo that bumper and make it look nice. But why? The whole rest of the car has dings in both those doors. So, got a kink here, and it's pretty straight, man. A little dip there, and this is where it seems to have ran it into something right along there. And it's kind of off a little bit there. The back panel looks okay here, but you run it right along there, along the top of that fender. Now, there's no dings, in, there's no dings, they're just these big pins. So, like I say, not aesthetically beautiful, but look at these tires. Nice tires, and they're good years. So you can tell somebody put some nice, good tires on this thing. It's not junk, so they were taking care of it. Um, little scuff there. This is discolored. I'm going to show you this now. Nice and clean. Third row. I'll show you this all. From the front, of course. Actually, well, yeah, we'll do that later. Now, this side, the guy really got. Let me show you underneath the back. Ain't all rusty or nothing. <laughs> I thought there was a hubcap on that. I'm like, dang it, I bought one. Little stress marks there. Scratch gouge there. And you can tell this could use a little adjustment because of how it is. It closes securely. It ain't going nowhere. Unless you want to open it. So, that's that. I'll show you the rest of that. When we open the doors, I'll show the interior. Whole sides dead in there. And that's it. Pretty clean besides the big dents. Runs good. Drives good. Shifts good. Let's go for a test drive. Okay, here we go. It gets up and goes, it's got power. Shifts nicely. And when I bought it, I was worried there'd be a bunch of road noise, like air coming in. No such deal so far. You can hear it a little bit, but you're not expecting it to be perfect. This is a cheap vehicle. When you slow down, that door will get a little bit of a rattle. It don't like my blinker being on. Oh, it don't like my seatbelt being on, maybe. Or not being on. Got semis for sale. If you're looking for a semi, we got three of them. Okay. 
This little car rolls, man. Under the hood's in great shape, nice and clean. Um, very clean, actually. It's only got about 100,000 miles on it. If I was an artist and I made a Freestar, I would call it almost not a minivan. Because it is almost not a minivan. Um, so you can see the dents better in a different light here. You can see they're all in here. Tiny bit of surface corrosion there. Or there's a crack probably from some of the stress cracks there in the paint. Um, that's it though. The damage to this truck or van is very up front. Now the lights, they could be sanded down and cleared or sanded and polished. Either way, I could do that for you cheaply. But I not really put a lot of money into this thing. Um, I just kind of sell it as is. As low mile wheels. So there's your dance in a different light. Let's look at the inside. We'll just, well, everything's locked. I'll have to go over here. Beautiful time out of the year. I found a nice place up here at my dad's to do my videos. Door panels, great condition. The interior of this van is very nice, very clean. Even had the alarm little thing you can take off with you. Um, floor mats will not go with it. Um, we'll just put a minute to where we don't get it dirty while we're cleaning on it. Seats are in great shape. Um, small little, you could use a, we don't have a carpet shampooer. Small crack right there. We're right, shampoo everything. I'll stand right there. And the floors are in good shape. Pedals, no wear. It's only a hundred and, what is there on this? Uh, 115? Is that right? 115. So, let's look at the back. Good condition, carpets, rugs. Got the original one there. The original one there. Um, this here, easy to pull down. It's in good shape. Um, Right here, yeah, boom, down it goes. What is I got going on here? Oh, the seat belts. I got that seat belt over there too tight. These got doors on both sides and still easily open and all. See, this is my dang kid got in here and wrapped this around here. He thought he was installing the car seat. That's what he told me, anyhow. There you go. And then, you see the floors are clean here. Let's stay in there. Like I said, we don't shampoo them. This one's got no damages right there, really. He just rubbed this in. Just that part, it kind of made the door pop out a little bit. Like I said, I did get a hubcap for this. And the struts work. This one, it's very clean back here. Couple small, slight stains. Goes down like that. So now, those come out easy. Pull that little handle, thing pops right out of there. Pretty cool. You got the pull down handle here as well. And that's that. Let's get back to the place. Oh, I want to show you on this side. This one, the core support here is crinkled. Could tap it here, tap it here, pull it out with a, a slide pull. But it seems to be just fine and hold together. And Yeah, I don't know why I tapped on the window like that. I was trying to do that. But it's just a little bit, could get some adjustment out of it, especially if you dinked around with that little bit there. Let's get back up to the other place. Okay, from a dead stop and everything, I'm gonna start it up. In fact, I'm gonna roll my window down. And start it up to where you can hear it. Hopefully with this traffic. Here we go. Nice, good starting. Check engine light comes on because of the EGR valve. I think they're about 60 bucks. It could be 70 bucks on eBay. Like I say, I'm not doing anything extra to this car. I could get it to go out for you, but everything I do makes the car cost more. Which is kind of what I was trying to avoid with this cheaper car. We also cracked a small one right there. Airbags haven't went off no matter how much stuff they hit. There's a stain right there. On the headliner and right there, it does have rear controls. I'm going to have to look at them. A lot of room back there, too, if you were hauling stuff. Okay. 
and it is 115.001. It goes. Zippy little van. And it's a pretty new vehicle. And you ain't gonna beat the price, that's for sure. Show you how downshifts they got. We're gonna go for the downshifts. Gets in and goes. It's like that. AC is ice cold. Um, aftermarket stereo. That's not like that. I don't want to have my seat that bad. That is pretty much that, man. Get back here, give you an outro, and get this thing for sale. All these awesome cars out here. Nice classics, nice newer stuff. It wants, it's like a seatbelt friendly car. I guess I'm not that good at putting my seatbelt on. Okay. Anything you see around here, all kinds of classics. Just all kinds of cars. Even got a nice little Accord in. Actually, really nice little Accord. 97 with 104,000. Cavalier RS. When's the last time you've seen one of those? Quail. The Quail aren't for sale. They're my friends. They're my friends, the Quail. Okay, that's that. We have done the walk around. And there was one more thing. I was going to get all this storage down here also. And a couple of Cup holder. That's a little wonky when you shut it, but it goes together fine. And what do you have back here? There is not rear controls. I just wanted to double check that. Got lights everywhere. Back of that, it's broken. It's for some kind of child seat thing. And that's the deal. Nice low mile Ford van. It's not really a van, I don't think they supposed to, they said, but maybe it used to, you know, there was the one before this that was a different style, I think, or after. I have no clue. I know I'm selling a cheap car. I know it runs down the road good. I know it's got cold AC. Somebody wants this, call me up, 406-546-8748. See more pictures at oneownercarguy.com. And like I say, all kinds of other classics and different stuff coming up. More vans, bigger vans, limousines, you name it, man. We got, we got everything, and it's for sale. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.